What's up YouTube? I want to make a video talking about Brian Shaw and his potential in arm wrestling because I just saw a video from Derek Smith actually where he's talking about an announcement where he's going to be actually training Brian Shaw, which is huge news. If you don't know Brian Shaw, he's a strongman athlete. I believe four-time world's strongest man. He's 6'9", 450 pounds. He's from Colorado. Guy's an absolute genetic mutant. And to have someone like him in arm wrestling would just be incredible. Just the genetic potential on a guy like that to, you know, but obviously it takes years to get really good at arm wrestling with tendon strength. But I just think the idea of someone like this with just elite genetics, if they actually want to dive into the sport, it would just be fantastic. Not only for the exposure of the sport, but just to see how far someone like that could take it. So let's look at Derek Smith's video where he, where he talks about uh, Brian Shaw here. For a while, I'm officially on Monday flying out to Colorado and I will be teaching Brian Shaw how to arm wrestle. Go to Brian Shaw's house. I'm going to be there for a few days. I'll be teaching the man himself, the four-time world's strongest man, how to arm wrestle. It's, it's, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. We might do some more stuff, some grip stuff. Uh, he mentioned he has a podcast. We have some other stuff we might do. Um, but excited to help bring in another crazy monster superstar in the sport. Hopefully he likes it. Hopefully he wants to stick around. Um, huge shout out already to Lucas Raymond, an arm assassin for sending, they sent, uh, Lucas Raymond sent Brian Shaw a, a table and handles. So anyways, that's a huge announcement there uh, with Derek Smith going out there. I can't wait to see the videos that they make over there with Brian Shaw and the training, how it goes, how Derek thinks of uh, how strong Brian is when they grip up. I'm curious to see how that goes. Subscribe to Derek Smith in the description below as well. Now let's take a look at Brian Shaw and some of the videos of him actually arm wrestling. So the last time he arm wrestled, I believe, was 2019 here with Eddie Hall. But there's also a video from 2018, him and Juji Mufu. Um, let's take a look at this. The they're trying to lose yeah. Much, they keep slipping because they're trying to cheat. See, I, <laughs> actually, yeah, they're getting away with as much as they can get away with. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's see what we can do here. All right, yeah. Like that, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That worked. Yeah. So I'm tr am I trying to keep this angle the same as I come back? Yeah, yeah. you want to get that. Because I felt like as I lean back, I left that open mm -hmm. more. Did, yeah. Yeah. So I'm see, trying to pull. So this video is from four years ago. Back. That's my mistake too. I always tend to I tend to like let my body go before my arm, and then the other arm wrestler. Because you have a stronger arm. arm. To start with, right? I get a little, I just think I just get zealous. I just want to go down, mm. you know, bring okay. it down. And then I yeah, I felt that. Behind. I felt that. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. All right. All right. All right. All right. So you try, you try to keep me from pinning you, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, how hard, how hard do you want me to try? Ha <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like he wasn't trying there. Juju goes, just hold me. <laughs> and he's laughing. Uh, as hard as you feel comfortable. I wasn't sure what we did. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be able to protect myself. I've learned enough to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see there, Brian Shaw is kind of intuitively going for a little bit of a top roll, and then he's he's going for a press there. Which imagine if this guy gets on top of your arm like this, there's not you're not going anywhere. I mean, 450 pounds, absolute mutant. This guy has huge potential. Okay. That was a banger. There, there we go. go. There we go. I don't feel like I used a lot of body there. That was more of, hey, I'm just going to. Yeah, that's 100%. I mean, he's just, obviously, he doesn't have the mind-muscle connection to be able to use everything together as one unit, which comes with just a lot of experience and obviously the tendon strength to keep that lock because arm wrestling is less of a dynamic movement as it is a static, you know, a static lock, and then you're moving with that lock so i think i mean when this guy gets a year's worth of practice or something like that he would be almost you know hard for 95 percent of people to beat just can you imagine having to go to a tournament and this 450 pound six foot nine individual is just right across from you like holy shit would not want to arm wrestle this guy I'd be like man i want to save my arms now let's take a look at him here with Eddie Hall, this was a year later. So this was in 2019. This is one of the other videos I saw of him arm wrestling here. Uh, 
I mean, you can just see the, the sheer size of this guy. Look at his shoulders. Look at those arms. This guy is massive. And I met him in person, actually. And yeah, he's, he's huge. Made me look absolutely tiny. I got to meet him a couple years ago, which was super cool. Had a little meet and greet. Super cool dude. Super friendly dude. And just think, it's super cool to see you know, him having interest in arm wrestling enough to invite Derek Smith out there to go and uh, train with them. So I'm looking forward to those videos. But let's see how he did here against Eddie. Oh my God. They're so massive that their heads are literally touching here. Look at this. That is funny. They're literally headbutting each other. Just too much mass on the table. That's hilarious. And you can see Brian just kind of going for like a drag hook. Eddie's more in tight and he kind of is going down for the press here, as you'll see. Now Eddie is just getting that angle on Brian, opening up his bicep, chopping down on his bicep. A little bit better of a, of a position to be in for sure. And they just stopped the match right there. But it just shows, man, these are two mutants. But And Eddie Hall at one point had interest in arm wrestling as well. He was going to have a match against Rob Vigent, which would have been exciting. I think that got canceled due to the whole COVID situation. But... Um, both of these guys getting into the sport is awesome for the sport. As you see, you know, other strongmen getting into the sport as well. I know Lawrence uh, Chalet from United Kingdom also is getting into arm wrestling. I'll put a picture of him up as well, or a video of him up. Just crank down with your hand and pull back. Yeah, Brian, Brian describes that perfectly. He's got the, the shoulder position of Eddie was better because he's able to get down on top of Brian's bicep there. And Brian was stretched out. Eddie was on top of it, you know, in a more advantageous position for sure. And then Eddie and Brian are talking shit as always. Love to see it. But just wanted to make a video on Brian Shaw because this guy has huge potential in the sport of arm wrestling. This guy could be an absolute threat given three years of you know consistent training. But you know, to be honest, it's hard to see that he would want to completely dedicate full on into it, considering I mean, maybe he's, he's looking into it if he's going to retire from strongman and he wants to still compete in something, which it kind of makes sense. You see a lot of people from other strength sports transferring into arm wrestling when they retire in the one sport. So I can see it from that perspective. So it's cool to see him, uh, you know, showing interest in learning some techniques and we'll see how far he's able to go with it. I'm super curious to see how, how it goes. So leave a comment. What do you think about Brian Shaw, this genetic mutant? Do you think he would be an absolute beast on the arm wrestling table given some technique? I mean, I think he already could beat 90% of people just with that insane frame he has. I mean, unless it's a really experienced arm wrestler, probably 200 pounds and up, I think it would be, even the lighter guys might be hard to beat him. Just, just considering that huge size and like, it's just a guy with genetic, just an absolute genetic base, like, for example, someone like Khaled, even with not that much training, is able to be fucking high-level arm wrestlers just with that ability. So, you know, how far do you think Brian Shaw can take it? Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys later. Let's get a peek check right here. I'm going to hit the Devin pose. It's the Devin, the Devin Lerat pose. Oh, there we go.